In the immediate aftermath of the bomb, these terrified family members wait for news of their loved ones. People living near the General Santander Police Academy in southern Bogota say they felt the blast shake their houses. The explosion was so large that windows from homes close to the blast, around five blocks away, were broken. We didn't think it was a bomb. We thought it was an earthquake. The academy has tight security, but witnesses say the car rammed its way onto the grounds before blowing up. President Ivan Duque says he's ordered a full investigation. It is an attack not only on our youth, on public forces or on our police. It is an attack against the entire society. This demented terrorist act will not go unpunished. We Colombians have never submitted to terrorism. We have always defeated it. Car bombs were common during Colombia's five-decade-long civil war between the state and leftist rebel groups. They were also used by drug cartels, including that of Pablo Escobar. In recent years, though, a peace agreement with the biggest rebel group, FARC, has meant there's much less violence. The last major attack was a year ago, when the ELN group detonated a bomb, killing five people in the northern port city of Barranquilla. It makes me sad that this is happening in the country because it has been a long time. I live near here, the general school, and the blast was very strong. As authorities work to find out what happened, for these residents, this was a terrifying reminder of the bad times they thought were behind them. Arabella Munro, TRT World.